Welcome back. My name is Tanner. If you're new here, I'm your typical CPA who's striving to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle while working in public accounting. In this video here, I'm going to cover my at-home workstation and how it's allowed me to work more efficient than ever. I'll also cover one of the most common questions I get about my at-home workstation, so make sure you watch towards the end. So, let's get started. <laughs> Having a great at-home workstation makes all the difference in this current environment to allow yourself to work more effectively. You need to get yourself your own mega desk. Yes, getting hooked on mega desk was my own damn fault. But I don't care about assigning blame. All I care about is mega desk. That is all I care about. So, what does my workstation consist of? A year ago, I got my customized adjustable standing desk from Uplift for which I believe provides the best desk options out there. My favorite part about this desk is that it can easily be converted from a standing to a sitting desk. So, if there are periods of time where I no longer want to stand, I can lower the desk by a push of a button to a level to sit on an exercise ball or a stationary bike. The great thing about Uplift is that there are so many customizable options to allow you to build the desk that fits your needs and your budget. What I chose to go with was their one inch thick, Rubberwood solid wood desktop that is dark browned and it is 60 inches long and 30 inches depth. Additionally, a few other little features that I got was their advanced one touch digital memory keypad, which allows me to save the optimal height for when I want to stand or sit by the press of a button. I also got their clamp on power strip with USB charger. This allows me to help with cord management, as with this add on, it allows for just one cord to be plugged into an outlet for the entire desk. I also got their Modesty panel, which further helps with cord management, as I can't be having wires hang from the desk with pets running around. Last, I got their desk exercise bike. I got this at a very good deal, so it was hard for me to pass it up. I enjoy using this bike at a light intensity while working, after some extensive morning runs, as this makes for some great active recovery. Now I'll be honest, getting a fully customized desk is going to be more expensive than your cheapest option on Amazon or another furniture store but I can honestly say that I'm very happy with the investment that I've made in my at-home workstation. It has been very beneficial and has been paying dividends since I've been forced to work from home since March. One approach that I took to make the desk more affordable is I took advantage of their financing plans, which allowed me to pay off my desk in six interest-free monthly payments. But if you're interested in seeing the customized options you can get for a standing desk from Uplift, then I'll leave a link to their site in my description below. Now, why a standing desk? The reason I chose to go with a standing desk, or at least a desk that allows me to sit and stand, is because our bodies were not meant to be sitting for extended periods of time, day after day. I don't know about you, but I'll typically get some pretty bad lower back pain when I'm being forced to work from a sitting desk for 8 to even 14 hours a day. In the past, when I was working for my client sites and a standing desk was just not an option, I would always set a timer on my phone for about 5 minutes once every hour to allow myself to get up, stretch, walk around to try and minimize the pain of having to sit around all day. For those who have had the pleasure of going through a busy season in public accounting, it's not uncommon to put on a little bit of weight during this time. There are usually two reasons for this. The first one is poor nutrition, as most of us are just eating out every single day. And the second is lack of activity, as we're just sitting at a desk for typically about 12 hours every single day. By standing instead of sitting, you can reduce the risk of weight gain by burning extra calories. I've seen a bunch of statistics online highlighting how many more calories you can burn from standing versus sitting. However, I didn't really trust too many of them as there really wasn't much substance behind them. So I know what you're thinking. Classic auditor and your dang professional skepticism. So I did a little case study myself and found the following statistics. On average, when I'm sitting at my desk, I'll burn about 80 calories per hour with a heart rate ranging between 55 to 65 beats per minute. Now when I'm standing at my desk, I found myself burning 10% more calories, or about 88 calories an hour, with about the same heart rate during that period of time. As one extra step, I decided to figure out how, how many calories would I burn by biking at a low intensity for an hour, and that resulted in a 200% increase for 240 calories per hour, with an average heart rate ranging between 85 to 95 beats per minute. Obviously, this is just a case study of one of myself, but the results did come out as expected, which shows that you do burn extra calories by standing versus sitting at a desk. Now, I want to cover a common question that I get, and that is, how do you connect so many monitors to your laptop 
that only has one HDMI port. So as you can see here, I have two large desktop monitors and one portable monitor that I use. Then as you can see on the side of my laptop, I'm not even using the only HDMI port that I have. So the first thing you'll need is a powered USB hub. So these will cost ranging from $18 to $20, and I'll leave the link in the description below of the one that I have. But one end, the cord will plug into the outlet, and the other will plug into your computer, the USB port. The next thing you'll need to connect your HDMI monitors into this hub are USB to HDMI monitor adapters. So it's as simple as plug your HDMI cable from your monitor into the adapter, and then the adapter plugs right into the USB hub. I'll leave a link in my description below of the exact adapters that I use. They range from $16 to $24, and I think I end up getting mine from Target. Last, my small external monitor is powered through a USB cable, so it's just a matter of plugging this into my USB hub as well. And there you have it. It's just that simple. I've had this displayed for about a year now. I've had no issues at all. Now, once you connect all these wires, make sure you go onto your laptop and adjust your display settings so your screens are extending in the right directions off your laptop. One last tip that I have before you go on building your at-home workstation is to check with your employer because so many of them in this current environment are offering stipends to help you purchase desks, chairs, extra monitors, and cords as well. But if you do have any questions here based off anything that I outlined, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button to make sure you catch my next video. Otherwise, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.